Hazur, our next member of parliament is very well known to the whole Jamaat. Justin Greening, member of parliament, is not only become a good friend of the community, but she is very involved in all aspects of our community. Justin is a member of parliament for Putney, and in December 2005 was appointed as a vice chairman of the Conservative Party with responsibilities for youth and is shadow minister for London. Since being elected to the parliament, she has been a loyal and long-standing friend of the community and has always been ever ready to serve the community of the Ahmadiyya Jamaat, both locally, nationally, and internationally. Justin was also responsible for hosting the historic parliamentary reception in October in the honor of Hazrat Khalif al Masih as part of the Khilafat Centurly celebrations and has become a very, very close friend of the Jamaat. It is my pleasure to welcome her here this afternoon and I request her to come and say a few words. as alaikum. It is a real privilege for me to be able to address all of you here today just for a few moments, and I'd like to extend my thanks to His Holiness for his very kind invite. Many of you will know that I've been to this convention quite a few years now, and I particularly enjoyed the time that I came today. I was able to look around the ladies' section of the convention and saw the wonderful bazaar, um, and it was really fantastic to be able to see some of the uh, facilities that you are all enjoying over these next few days. What I did want to say is how much respect I have for the Ahmadiyya community, both locally and internationally. I know that I'm very lucky to be an MP that has the Gresson Hall Mosque in Southfields within my constituency. I've learnt a huge amount from working alongside the community on a number of issues. And over the years that I've been MP, I've really grown in my respect for the community and understanding of, of everything that it's doing. More recently, I became Shadow Minister for Communities and Local Government. And I think more than ever, I now understand how vital the leadership that the Ahmadiyya community plays, not just in the UK, but worldwide, in bringing communities together. And your motto of love for all, hatred for none, is truly something that runs through every single contact that I ever have with the community and all the work that I'm able to do with you. I wish you all the best for your convention. I know you will have a fantastic time, and I know that you will spend the time not only reflecting, but celebrating your faith. And I celebrate it with you too, and wish you all the best. Thank you. Miss Justine Greeny. Azur, our next uh, eminent guest is uh, Baroness Emma Nicholson. Again, another person who is well known now to the community. Baroness Emma Nicholson is a member of the House of Lords and also a member of the European Parliament for the Southeast of England for the last 10 years. She has a very distinguished political career and has been at the forefront of fighting discrimination in all forms. She also has taken a particular interest in Pakistan and was a member of the Election Monitoring Committee during the last elections. An avid supporter of human rights and a champion of Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Emma has regularly raised the issue of persecution of Ahmadis in the European Union. Whenever the Jamaat has faced difficulties in Pakistan and other countries, she has always been at the forefront of assisting the community. I'd like to welcome her to the convention again. She is a regular visitor to our Jalsa Salanas, and I request her to say a few words. Salam alaikum. In the name of Allah, the Almighty, the Merciful. Thank you, Your Holiness, dear colleagues, for this wonderful gathering of so many nations here in this peaceful place. You bring with you a celebration of peace and joy. You stand for opposition, peaceful opposition, 
to persecution of others for their religious beliefs, persecution for their different backgrounds, persecution for their different cultures. You are the messengers of peace. And today, as you come from so many nations internationally to spend this wonderful week here in prayer, in friendship, and in joy, you give a message to all of us who may not share the absolute way in which you worship, but we share your commitment to peace, to hope, to joy, and to the love of our fellow men and women. Indeed, you exemplify the great virtues of Islam. You fulfill the words and actions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And as a woman, I say, your wives, your daughters, your sisters, your mothers, your grandmothers, and your granddaughters, they too exemplify the virtues, the strength, the courage, the peace and wisdom of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his wife and his daughter, Fatima. You are Islam in being. And because you represent the cardinal virtues of Islam, we too share with you those virtues, and we believe that we try also to fulfill those virtues. Therefore, we are together here today as one. We share a common value system, whether we are Ahmadiyya worshippers, Christians, other strands of Islam, of all faiths or none. We are the community of values that is the bedrock of a peaceful and a hopeful future. I wish you a wonderful few days here, full of daily worship, praise, joy, and all the fun and happiness and merriment that this gathering brings. And I thank you so warmly for all that you do internationally, where I have seen your work in the most difficult conditions, where you are forced against your will to be different from others, not to be allowed to worship, for example. And I have seen your work here in many parts of the United Kingdom, where you support and strengthen local communities where you are the professionals, and where you bring leadership, peace, and harmony to all of the communities in which you flourish. I wish you well, and I am happy, comfortable, and proud to be among you. Thank you. Nare Humanity! Baroness Emma!